Jumbo fellow adventurers, what's going on in the world? Welcome back to your next spiritual tune-up. I did take yesterday off in observation of Blackout Tuesday. Uh, that's part of what's going on, but there's something deeper than Blackout Tuesday. There's something deeper than the riots. There's something deeper than the protests. There's something deeper than coronavirus. And that is an explanation of how did we get where we are right now? In the simplest of terms, uh, and my answer to you is coming from deductive reasoning, going within, spending a lifetime thinking about this kind of stuff, supplemented and confirmed by a few amazing books. And I, I, I list those books everywhere I go. They're in the back of most of my books. But if you're interested at tut.com, T-U-T.com, under resources, <clears throat> There is The Things We Love or Recommended Reading or something like that. There's about 15 books that have just lit me on fire. So between my own introspection and the books I've read, this is what's going on right now. Consciousness evolves, okay? Just like we evolve, uh, just like human beings grow from baby to teenage years to adulthood to senior years, there's this non-stop expansion of consciousness. God is constantly expanding. Call it the universe, call it divine mind. Uh, there's no stagnation in this reality. Everything continues to grow. And there is such a thing as growing pains. Right now, as we grow individually, so do we grow as a global community. And if you will, you've heard me talk before in these earlier tune-ups about baby souls, old souls, just as an individual's soul evolves through greater and greater wisdom, call it higher vibrations, call it moving towards the light. A lot of that is woo-woo, but life is woo-woo. Okay? But just call it maturity for right now. As an individual grows closer, more into the light, so does a community and so does a planetary uh, population. And generally, there's a lot of commonality. Although in any community and or on a planet, there are baby souls at the same time as there are old souls. But collectively, if you could do a weighted average, you would find that on planet Earth, here and now, that the collective soul age, the collective maturity levels, are for lack of another benchmark, I would say teenage, late teenage years moving into early adulthood. We're going from raw, raw, look at me, aren't I great? Hey, everybody, without realizing that there are consequences to our decisions um, and repercussions of us discovering our powers, moving into young adulthood when it's like, who's going to clean up this mess? Mom, Dad, where are you? You know, this never happened before because we were in a state of ignorance. On planet Earth right now, we are in very primitive times. We are not um, nearly as evolved as where we're going, and we're going there very quickly, and it's all very positive, and it's super exciting, but there are growing pains. So right now, individually and collectively, we're going from the darkness, if you will, uh, Stone Age, into the light into truth, into a recognition of our supernatural divinity and the responsibilities that go hand in hand with power. You know, Superman's grandpa said it, with great power comes great responsibility and vice versa. And it's like, this is a lot for an individual, for a human being, for the physical body, or for our psyches to handle, including we're all going through it together. Now, some are more mature soul age wise and many are less mature and they don't even know the difference between right and wrong baby souls so we're moving into our power it's really awkward it's really embarrassing we're finding our responsibilities and discovering we shirk them and it's like you know, i can't be that bad i can't be that person and it is just like mind-blowing. Although we don't see it in these terms, we think it's same old, same old, and something's changing, but it's not me, and it must be you, and it must be because you're a Republican, or you're a Democrat, or you're a communist, or you're a capitalist. Or... It's like, it can't be me, and it's like, it's all of us. And so, 
when an individual goes through angst and turmoil and they want to go left and they want to go right and they want to be good but they want to have fun and they think these things don't add up together they break down they break down emotionally they break down into tears they break down into a, a fever they break down into disease they get sick and laid up for a week uh, they need surgery they get you know every ailment imaginable when there's a bottleneck here in an individual there is disease here dis-ease the same thing happens in a civilization and when the whole planet is going through i'm powerful i'm responsible you're good i'm bad on on and like all these definitions and i can't handle it plague disease uh, infections earthquakes tidal waves humongous storms all of that you, you don't think that the weather and plate tectonics uh, is primary and we are secondary, do you? We're living a dream. We live in a dream world. And yes, there's physical laws that all seem to tie together based on all of our thoughts. We create the weather. Our harmony brings better weather. Our discord brings worse weather. And the same with the trembling in the ground and the same with pandemics and diseases. It's a physical ailment of internal turmoil. So this is what's going on. And when people are faced with truths that they haven't acknowledged before, and you could say innocently, uh, without fault, without blame, it's like, you know, the teenager just didn't realize he, he or she had to pay the car insurance bill or the insurance would be terminated. It's just like, hey, man, I'm cool. You got to be kidding. Mom, pay the bill. It's too late. I don't have insurance. It's like, it's quite innocent. And well, here's some of the things that we're waking up to that we were naive and therefore blind to. Without blaming anybody, this is some of the stuff that's coming up. Our oneness. That I am you and you are me and I am your brother. You are my sister. You are my brother. We are one in the most literal, absolute ways. Not kind and not sort of, we're not just of the same family. I mean, you're another part of me and I'm another part of you, all of us. And when one falls, we all fall. Something else that we just have very conveniently not noticed is that racism is rampant in the world and alive and well in the United States. And, and notice that people who are racist, 99% of the time, they don't even know it. Very few racists are proud racist, acknowledged racist. Most people who are not, who, most people who are racist would never believe it if they were, they were confronted with their racism. And it's like, what is this? Who are you? And another thing, privilege. We've been blind to it. It's real as can be. Uh, it's everywhere. White privilege is everywhere. Wake up and see it. Go to my home, go to my author page at Facebook right now and look at the dialogue because of what we posted yesterday and look at the rationale. There's a lot of rationale for understanding that there's uh, white privilege and black lives matter. And there is a lot of resistance with no explanation as to why those are trite and meaningless and divisive. We have been blind to our oneness, blind to the existence of racism, blind to privilege. And here's another one. We have, we can clearly see that there has been a huge divergence between religion and spirituality. It's like they don't even mean the same thing anymore. I don't think they ever did mean much the same, but now it's like night and day. How do you reconcile that? You've been taught to be a good spiritual person, and so you've been religious, but now religion has nothing to do with spirituality. We got to ask some hard questions. Do I have privilege? Am I part of the answer? Um, do I uh, practice a philosophy that is not doing any good? Um, another one, failure of extreme politics, whether you're on the extreme left or the extreme right. Um, communism, socialism can curb personal freedoms. There are examples of socialism around the world today in some of the, so in, in Norway and New Zealand and Germany, where they have a much higher standard of living than the United States. So socialism, communism can curb freedoms. Capitalism, 
Just look at what's going on in the world today. It's an amazing idea. But left unchecked, it fosters extreme, excruciating class inequities. So it's like all of us, no matter what your mindset, are invited to look within. The truth is the truth. It is here. There is no going back as we move into the light. The question is, how will you handle these irrevocable changes and these irrevocable revela revelations? Will you resist? Will you want to make America great again? That's going back to the old, denying that our vibrations are rising. Or will you embrace through introspection and wonder, how else can I view life? How else can I approach my power? How else can I help with unity? Um, that is the question. Uh, and I leave it for you to debate and to post on your walls. There's no turning back. If you can't feel it now, uh, something's changed. Something's different. This is the new normal. And it's going to be difficult and really awkward for a good long time. But it's the beginning of a healing that is long overdue. So peace and love to everybody out there. I'll see you tomorrow morning.